In this video, let's explore a few more facts about seatbelts. To belt or not to belt, that is the question. Let's see if I can help you decide. Does it really matter if you or someone else in your vehicle chooses not to wear a seatbelt and is involved in a car crash? Let's look at car crash simulation tests. The first test shows what happens when someone is wearing a seatbelt during a crash. The second video shows the exact same crash, but without wearing a belt. Now let's watch these two videos side by side so you can see the difference in what the body goes through. Let's watch it again so you can see the detail. Do you remember when we talked about crash force in an earlier segment? The mannequin's body is going to keep flying forward with the force of the crash until something stops it. Do you see the mannequin's face hit the glass so hard it shatters the windshield? Do you see his body slam into the steering wheel? Do you see his legs ram into the dash? If this were a person, what types of injuries do you think he would have suffered? Now let's compare that to what happens when the mannequin is wearing a seatbelt and the airbag deploys. Do you see the airbag catch his face and chest before it hits the windshield and the steering wheel? Do you see the seatbelt pull the mannequin deep into his seat so his legs don't fly as far forward into the dash? If this were a person, what types of injuries do you think he would have after a crash like this? And how do they compare to the first scenario where he wasn't wearing a seatbelt? Not only do belts help to reduce injuries inside your car during a crash, but they also keep you safe from being ejected from the vehicle during a crash. Did you know that you are 30 times more likely to be ejected or thrown out from a vehicle during a crash if you are not seat belted? And being completely ejected from a vehicle is almost always deadly. But using a seat belt virtually eliminates the risk of being thrown out. Let's watch an animation of a car crash where someone is not wearing their seat belt and is ejected during the crash. As you watch this, think about what types of injuries this person would have sustained during the crash. What do you think his chances of survival are? As you can see from watching this animation, choosing not to wear your seatbelt and being ejected during a crash will most likely result in death, especially if the car spins or flips over. Hopefully this is compelling information to encourage you to commit to always wear your seatbelt. If not, there's another fact to share with you. You need to consider that your choice is not just about protecting you. It is also about protecting others riding in the car with you. Who do you usually ride with? Your parents? Friends? Your brother or sister? 
Did you know that during a car crash, if you are not belted in, your body becomes a weapon against others riding in the car with you? Remember Crash Force? During an unbelted crash, you have no control where your body goes. The weight of your body times the speed you were going at the time of the crash turns your body into a weapon against others in the car. I have another video clip to share with you. You are seeing an actual crash taken from the point of view of a drive cam on this vehicle. This driver is not wearing his seatbelt when he falls asleep behind the wheel of his car. When he realizes that he has lost control and his car is crashing, he grabs the passenger seat trying to hold himself down. But remember Crash Force? This is a pretty good sized man, so there is a lot of force in this crash. He tries unsuccessfully to hold himself in the seat. First, he flies out of his seat and into the passenger seat. Then he is thrown from the passenger seat into the back passenger seat before being partially ejected from the vehicle. Though this is a great example of an unbelted driver being ejected, it is also an example of how this person's body became a weapon during the crash. What would have happened if there had been a person in the passenger seat or in the back seat? Can you see how the crash force of this man's body flying around the vehicle would have injured his other passengers? Your choice to wear your seatbelt or not to wear your seatbelt does not just impact you. It impacts anyone riding in the car with you. And if someone in the car with you chooses not to wear their seatbelt, their choice can impact you as well. Research tells us that people are less likely to use their seatbelt if riding in the backseat of the car. Yet, when we apply what we just learned about unbelted passengers becoming a weapon against others in the car during a crash, does this practice make sense? Let's view another crash simulation. Though the driver is wearing a seatbelt, the passenger in the back seat is not. When the crash happens, the crash force causes the back seat passenger to catapult forward, using the crash force of his body as a weapon against the driver. The person in the front seat could be injured or even killed by his unbelted occupant flying forward. The unbelted person in the back seat will sustain injuries as well. And to think, all of this could have been avoided if the backseat passenger had chosen to wear his seatbelt. It's time to review what we learned in this video. We watched the difference between a crash when the driver was wearing a seatbelt and when he was not. We learned about the dangers of being ejected from a vehicle if not wearing a seatbelt. We saw how a person's body can become a weapon against others in the vehicle. And we learned that even in the back seat, seatbelts are critical to our safety and the safety of others in the car with us. I hope you have learned enough about seatbelt safety that you will be committed to buckling up every trip, every time, and to ask others in the car with you to do the same in order to keep everyone traveling together as safe as possible on our roadways.